Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. I wanted to start off this episode by showing off the casualty list here. Uh, so I was just reading my comment section and someone s said something along the lines of Be careful, you've already lost 200,000 unit, uh, uh, 200,000 men in the game so far. Uh, no, not even close to that. I've only lost 69,000 men and that was across every, every conflict. Uh, so France, Spain, uh, Czechoslovakia, um, the, that's who, uh, and the Netherlands, and Denmark, and Sweden. So, so every, every conflict I've had so far only lost 69,000 men. Italy has suffered tremendous casualties, um, and Yugoslavia got pretty wrecked. But, I mean, the United Kingdom's down half a million men. Even South, South Africa and Canada, some of the Commonwealth nations. Uh, well, is South Africa Commonwealth? I don't know if I actually know. Um, over 100,000. France, 155. Sweden lost a hem well. Sweden lost 171,000 men, but we did overrun 17 divisions. That was a lot. Um, well, what we're gonna do this episode? We're gonna start off with our air experience here. I just noticed. I didn't. I didn't notice at the end of the last episode. I don't think that um, it was capped out at 500. That's. It's not gonna go any higher than that. So we might as well use that by creating um, some variants. And what I think I'm gonna do is variant up the. Let's give the, the Hinkles, uh, the Hinkle 111s, a variant, because I'm probably going to be using these for a good long while, and I don't necessarily see a point oops, uh, in, in not doing that, because I don't plan on, I mean, we're not going to be making, we're, I don't think we're going to be using strategic bombers, really, uh, but we'll, we'll, we can variant up uh, the Hinkle here. So what I'm going to do first is increase its range by a good deal, uh, because as, as tactical bombers, I want them to have the ability to range pretty deep into enemy territory. Uh, we can if we bring that up to five that r gives us 1200 extra kilometers so that's that's a, a long distance but reliability is going to suffer pretty bad um, if we we can crank the reliability up um, I don't know that's a lot that's that's that, that's a all of this just to create uh, a, a good range why don't we take the range down to three um, we'll leave the reliability on four and we'll do bombing and engine. What does the engine give me? I'm assuming the engine gives me less ground attack. Or the strategic bomb. You know what? It's just flipping this around. Strategic bomb. There we go. A speed increase. That's good. Really, uh, very reliable planes. Um, range is very good, and a little bit better bombing, a little bit better engine. So that's a that's a big variant right there. And we're gonna switch these over to the um, Hinkle 111 A right here. And that, that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, we're only producing four per month, so uh, I think what I'm going to do is knock fighters down a little bit and put some more here, like that. That should take care of that. Um, we also have a good deal of naval experience and army experience. Army I think I'll save up, and navy I think I'll save up for now. What I want to do is save the naval experience for building a better model of the Type 7C U-boat. Alright, nice. So... We are in a good state right now. Uh, if I want, I can take out Norway, which I think I'll actually do. Um, these, this guy right here. Let's give them a front line with Norway. And have him move up that way. He should take care of it on his lonesome. They're moving. Oh, and speak of the devil. Type 7C U-boat. And why don't we... Oh, wow, we can get um, better destroyers and cruisers. And uh, Yeah, let's get better cruisers going 62 days away. Yeah, that's good. Wings with no missions, that's fine. Well, I mean, if we want to. Zero fighters. Wow, they're out. What happens if I... Not naval strike. Wait, wait, close air support. No, not that. I want tactical bombers in southern England on strategic bombing. Uh, I haven't done this yet, but I want to see how this works. Like, are they going to get shot? There's a lot of anti-air guns, but there's no enemy fighters out. So it looks like they're going to be able to range over England as much as they want. France just demanded, um, or Japan just demanded French Indochina. Uh, which is down here. It's part of communist France. 
Hmm. Looks like Japan's doing well. Probably uh, start using more convoys at some point, too. Northern France. Need those fighters up. I mean, we are cranking on fighters pretty good. But it's only, it's only two and a half per day. I mean, I'd like this to be full. Seven per day, we can knock that down. Um, that's good. Three. That right, leaves us with two more. Uh, fighters have maxed out. Oh, let's get those bombers up. Those are good bombers, too. Something's going- oh, someone's attacking the Communist French right here, it looks like. We lost a couple convoys to British submarines. Alright, where is- where are you, and why are you not doing your thing? Do you- have any to- Oh, there they go, they just weren't assigned to the front. Okay. Alright, good. Uh, so let's see, it is- oh, it's, oh, I didn't even realize, it's 1940 already. Jesus Christ, been playing on, like, a high speed for a while. Uh, something I need, and I actually think we're going to switch this out. This is 1940s tech right here. Naval invasion preparation time minus 50%. Naval uh, invasion defense and naval invasion capacity plus 40. That'll allow us to, um, get more men in, involved in the invasion. What I plan on doing is, uh, a sea lying, sea lioning pretty soon. We've got bombers out, uh, blasting the hell out of England. Rose, 100% of the region. The tactical bombers are out day and night. Bombing the hell. The only thing they've got is some anti-aircraft guns. Uh, I mean, I they're on strategic bombing. I don't I, I, I don't know what they're... What, what kind of effect they're having. Do I have more strategic bombers? Is that all of them? Naval bombers. Uh, tactical bombers. Uh, something. Fighters over northern France got pretty wrecked, it looks like. Wait, was there... This guy's on standby is at zero. We're out of fighters, basically. We're only... We're only we, ah, damn it, that's a, uh, that's a big deficit on fighters. I mean, it's going up. Hopefully, I, I, hopefully we'll be good. Um, I don't necessarily think that a British invasion of the coastline is, is feasible at this point. So what I'm going to do is delete these orders. And I'm going to have these guys move uh, in, in preparation for an invasion. Um, same thing with Orangey Magoo over here. Oh, no, no, those are... Who's this? Oh, no, that, that's, a, that's a full army right there. Uh, what we're going to have to do is use up a bunch of different ports. So you guys go to Cherbourg. Purpley. Uh, I'm going to keep those guys here, I think. Um, you are definitely going to get used for this, so move over here for, for it. We have air... I, I think we have air superiority over England. God damn it, we need more fighters, though. We're gonna have me uh, new medium tank divisions ready and raring to go. Uh, we can actually... Add some more of these. I mean, look at... Can add more on there. Yeah. You know what, let's let's not, because these are gonna finish soon, and then we'll need uh, units to actually populate them. So, that'll be fine. Uh, more, yeah, more MPs coming. I'm going to need a CB over here because I don't have one. Send that off. Planes in reserve. Junkers. Thorn 23s. Hinkle 111s. So I can bring in more close air support if I really wanted to. Which we might want to do for the upcoming invasion here. We can make a new wing. Um, all of them over here. Okay. Close air support. They're not there yet, so I can't actually change this. 
I like even number. I like, you know, I like big round numbers. So 296 is not something I like. Maybe 300 set limit. Now we're getting more fighters. Uh, let's actually move them to northern France. They're based from where? Uh, that's not them. Who's over here? It says there's nobody there. I thought... What? Oh, they're me confused. There's nobody here, but the icon clearly shows that it's occupied. Because this is an empty one. Right? Or maybe not. Whatever. A little confused, I guess. Oh boy. Three, almost three per day. We're gonna get more tactical bombers. We're just using our tactical bombers for strategic bombing, basically. And what we're gonna do is start... I mean, I, I'm hoping we can get... superiority here, but I don't know if it's gonna be feasible at this point in the game. And what we're going to do is we're going to land right here, like this, and then draw an offensive line like that. And then, oh, God, I hate this. If you select, it'll only let you do like 10, I think. I said research more transport technology to increase the naval, yeah. Total limit is 10, t 10 total. So I would have to do a few here. Oh, let's, let's, let's trash this for now. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I'm liking an invasion of the United Kingdom right now. You need to get naval. You need to get superiority in an area, which means I'm going to need a shit ton of planes or a lot of ships, which I don't really have. So if I wanted to, I can focus on the Soviet Union. That might be that might be a better idea. Uh, it looks like we sunk a submarine here with our naval bombers, which we're not actually building any new ones right now to replace losses. We might want to take care of that. Just, like, very few. Tactical bomber, tactical bomber, naval bomber. We'll just do, like, one. Get more tigers going. Uh, building some heavy tank divisions is probably going to be a good idea now that we actually do have some Tigers. Uh, wow, 326 of them, which is pretty impressive considering Germany only made like 1,500 Tigers in the entire war. Well, I mean, they didn't produce them right up to the end because they replaced the production lines with uh, Tiger twos. Uh, so, let's go to a division designer. We're going to go to the medium panzer division and duplicate this, and we're going to call it a heavy... Heavy Panzer. Panner. Panzer. Oh, don't want to pause it. Or don't want to type that in. We want to pause it. And what we're going to do is start swapping this stuff out. Well, let's let's leave these in. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. And it went away. Fuck me. Edit. Duplicate. Or was it already in? Was it saved in here? No, it was not. Okay, so... Panzer Division. What we're going to do is say heavy tank. Uh, this is 40 heavy tanks. This is going to be based around heavy tanks. So we're going to fill it up with heavy tanks. Uh, nope, back. Um, forward. Heavy tanks. So heavy tanks. We're going to give it some medium tanks as well. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, won't, not mobile. That's heavy, that's medium. So we'll put some medium tanks in there as well. Uh, we're going to actually add in more motorized infantry. And we have all the correct support, right? We have support anti... Well, we have maintenance company, engineer company, and a recon company. Everything else is taken care of here. We've got self-propelled... That's artillery. Uh, tank destroyers. Anti-air. Um, some 
more artillery, I think, would be would be decent. We have lots of medium tanks. But I think we're going to leave it at that right there. So it's 7 kilometers per hour. Soft attack of nearly 400. Wow. There's uh, 11,600 men in this division. Motorized, support equipment, heavy, 200 heavy tanks, 100 medium tanks, uh, 40 self-propelled. Actually, I want more artillery than that. Uh, that's 60 tank destroyers, anti-air. And we're going to put in more medium tanks, actually. 12,600 men. Uh, we're going to save this, like that. Heavy tank division. Close it off. And we're going to start putting heavy panzers. We're going to train up. Oh, we're going to delete that. Uh, we're going to train up two of these, add unit. Uh, we almost have enough. I'm just going to put them right there. Start training up some, some heavy tank divisions. Which is cool. We got tigers going. I'm pretty stoked about that. I mean, I was all stoked for taking England out, but... I don't know how I feel about it anymore, really. Oh, uh, we got an extra factory. Transport planes, naval bombers. Medium tank destroyers. Bombers. Artillery's just... Uh, artillery's upgrade, so I'm not terribly concerned with it. Just fighters. You know what? I'm gonna put an, I'm gonna make another production line for fighters. Put that up to the top. I need to keep my airspace clear. There we go. I know it's not a lot. It's one factory. It's not a big deal right now. It's not a lot, but it's something I want to take care of. What might actually be a good idea is taking out Finland as well to open up this front right here. Um, have them sweep through this peninsula. I don't remember what it's called. Karelian Peninsula? I don't know. Uh, sweep through here and come down this way. Uh, who's it? I know there's a major naval base right there, and Murmansk is right up here. I've got all these units prepared. I think what we're going to do is just just skip England for now. We'll just keep bombing the crap out of it. I mean, it doesn't really seem like they're very capable of putting up much of a fight. Uh, we're a strategic bomb. We got 480 bombers out there right now. All right, if I have any other ones, let's go to air overview. Um, close air support, close air support. Those are all my tactical bombers right now. Okay. Yeah, these ones I actually want over northern France. These ones on intercept, these ones on air superiority. I think that should give them a chance to uh, uh, get their numbers back up a little bit. I just, I'm, I'm not thrilled with the pers uh, prospects of a scene lion right now because my navy, I, I've neglected it so incredibly much. Let's see, how close are we here? All right, we're getting there. Well, why don't we, let's change our mind. And I'm going to want to uh, move men over this way. So, this guy's got the light. Do I want to upgrade those? Are, I, I've got all those light tanks in the army right now, and there are oodles and oodles of them. Thinking maybe upgrading them a little bit might be a good idea. Um, right now, there's not much to it. Let's give them um, medium self-propelled artillery. Well, that really knocks the speed down, doesn't it? Medium self Yeah, that really that slows them down. All this stuff is going to slow them down. See, what do we got on speed? Your max speed, minus 2.7. Max speed, my, yeah. All that medium stuff is going to really knock down their speed. But we can make them a little... I mean, we, have, we have all these light tanks. Might as well. We've got support artillery, support engineers. We'll give them a maintenance company. Um, support anti-tank. That's not The support's not going to uh, knock it down at all. That'll give them a little bit more heart attack to work with. Okay, let's save that. Make those guys a little bit more combat effective. And why don't we start working on this? So this is mostly infantry right here. 
I've got a mountain division and one panzer division in there. And why don't we do this for this? This is mostly infantry. We're going to give them this section of the front right here. Do they have anybody? 44 divisions. Okay. Uh, this is Rommel. Uh, he is going to end up with most of these new tanks, so let's move him over here. And this guy, where is he? He's right here. Infantry. He's all infantry as well. It's really rough terrain up here, so I'm thinking up here is going to be best. All these, all these guys are going to... Uh, join me. Somebody said I have... So is... That's Venezuelan. I've got a lot of Polish expeditionary forces. Can I just... Like, I don't necessarily want them myself anymore. So let's... Can you just return them? Can you control states? Ask for control states. Polarity expeditionary force. We can send forces to help. So I can send them out. Start lend lease. No. So how do you give them back? Um, there's not an option in there. These, yeah, these are all Polish divisions under German control. I think if I do this, it return. It doesn't actually disband them. I think it returns them. Yep, yeah, that worked. That's 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 weird, but it works. I don't know why it does, but it does. And I think this one as well. You tell it to dis... You, there's no way in the diploma... Well, actually, that one did disappear. Did it? No, no, no. No, no, it's still there. It's just not under my control anymore. So I guess that returns control. No big deal there. Got all these new two, Type 2 submarines, so we're going to put them on convoy rating. Well, you're already on convoy rating. Hmm. Why are you still sitting there? I keep going back and forth about what what, what I want to do. Um, oh boy. Uh, I really want a sea lion, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it considering I, I did not focus at all on my surface fleet, really. Uh, I mean, I've built some cruisers, but that's about it. Oh, and there goes Norway. Four. Send that over. And then you... Yes, I know they're going to join the war. I'm going to... Whoop, attack. Oh, shit. I didn't give them a battle plan, did I? Whoops. Just, uh... <laughs> oh, that's not going to work, is it? Just tell them to go like this. I mean, I think all their VPs are going to be in this. I think there might be one up here. Yeah, there's one right there, I think. Narvik. They don't have a lot. They're going to have, like, a defensive bonus, I think, but they don't have a lot of, uh... equipment, it seems. So just go get, <laughs> go get them. Uh, I forgot to actually give you specific orders, so I de definitely messed that up a little bit. Oh well, no big deal. Let's get more fighter planes. Jesus Christ, we need more fighters. Medium panzers, heavy panzers. I'm going to give them to Rommel, I'm pretty sure. I want more map modes. Like... Uh, terrain map ta terrain map mode was so important in in Hearts of Iron 3. I'm I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, I, I barely see any terrain differences here. We got faction. Got Diplo. Got resistance. Or we got resource, we got resistance. We got states. I'm not even sure why state map mode needs to be a thing. I mean, it's easy to put in there. I know states are kind of the basis of the game, but what are you going to use it for? And we got supply area. I definitely. I'm used to having so many map modes. I want more. I want more map modes. I don't need. I don't, people keep setting me expeditionary forces, and then I don't use them. And civilian factories. 
Let's get some more refineries. I feel like we're going to need them. And we can start building up more uh, military factories, definitely. I mean, we're, 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 we need them. We definitely need them. You gonna go? They're easy victories. What are you doing? Oh, God, I hate the IA so much. <laughs> it's moving all these units up. Uh, it strategically redeployed all those units away from the capital north. Because that makes a hell of a lot of sense. God damn it. it didn't, you didn't need units up there. We didn't need the majority of our forces at Narvik. Alright, we're just gonna manually this. Take care of this, I think. At least try. Oh boy. Excavation 3, nice. Improved AA guns. Let's get improved anti-tank guns. Everybody has anti-tank guns. Did I put... Oh, I can't remember. I, I, I meant to put anti-tank guns on my division. I did. Okay. Anti-tank guns, anti-aircraft guns, and artillery. All added onto my divisions here. Which are honestly um, not huge. They are not that big, really. There's nine regiments. I can easily fit more in there if I wanted to. And I actually think that I'm going to go ahead and make my standard infantry division bigger. That. Um, we should have the stockpile to do that. Yeah. Thousands of artillery pieces. Most of them are out of date, but we still have... Well, we do have thousands of them. Oh, and where did the... Where did the guys at the capital go? At Oslo go? Seriously, why did it think we needed this many troops up here? Dockyards must have captured some. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, destroyers. Yeah, we can build more destroyers. We have a couple more. We cap did capture a couple factories. So fighters. We need de desperately need fighters. Uh, I think what it will probably end up doing is trying to get ahead on fighter production um, by like fifteen hundred units or so, and then probably uh, deleting that that factory. Molotov, Molotov, Riven, Tropped Pack. So right now we're building three per day plus 1.2 per week. So that's, oh, well, that's pretty bad at 1.2 per week. That's not very good for fighters. Puppet Turkey. Alliance with the USSR. I definitely don't want an alliance with the USSR. I definitely want to go to war with them. So we did the pact. Do... Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Um, I'm, I'm kind of still prepping for a Barbarossa, so I'm not super thrilled with the idea of going to war right now. Size the pact. Good. Got some encryption machines done. Let's get better radar going. Well, let's see if we can overrun this division here nice and easy. Seriously, what was it? What, what is the AI thinking with this? It doesn't have very much of a. Uh, well, let's grab all of the, like the fjords, but leave Oslo alone. I don't know who's here. I don't know if we'll be able to get in there easily. Oh, there's nobody. Okay. Oh, uh, that must have just been a naval unit. Military factories, a couple of them. Oh, well, actually, we did we did run through our... Well, I thought we did, but I guess we didn't. <laughs> or maybe we had, and we I mean, we're building 162 per day. Now, medium tanks were a little low on. Let's see if we can max that out. I, I feel like we're going to start losing Panzer 3s pretty quickly. 
So it'll be a good idea to make sure we have a uh, surplus. Maybe cancel that one. Seriously, come on. AI has no sense of pri priority. So it, it, if you give it over, or like, 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 big things to do, I don't feel like it. France bans communism. Good job, France. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't have very good strategic thinking on, on, like, a broad sense. On a, a small sense, I feel like it does. Uh, you can give it small, specific orders. Like, if I told this front, let's, let's go over here and mess around with this. Oh, you know what? Let, before we do that... Let's end this video. I, can, I don't even know how long I've been recording for because I took a little break in the middle of it. So if you have enjoyed this, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Hearts of Iron 4. Just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.